It is so difficult when things that are precious to us become lost. So much more difficult when we are separated from people who are precious to us. Sometimes life feels so hard. We become separated from a sense of what matters. We can risk losing ourselves somewhere along the way. Henry David Thoreau wrote, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. How can I remember this idea? I need reminders of what lies within me, what strengths, what hopes. This week's project will focus on making a safe place for those reminders, like a treasure chest for what has value to us, a place for safe keeping. What small keepsakes do you carry that remind you of precious people or places or times in your life? What reminds you of your best self? What lies within you, those strengths and hopes we were talking about that, that matter so much? Whether you carry actual keepsakes with you or simply hold memories or ideals close to your heart, we all need a space for safekeeping. Using any box, a wooden box, cigar box, gift box, even a tissue box, we can create a symbolic space for safekeeping. I can glue paper or fabric onto the outside of the box, or I can focus on creating an environment inside, a scene I want to imagine, or a softness to hold an object. So be thinking what colors add to your feeling of safety and security? What textures? Do you prefer layers and an intricate pattern? A one smooth color overall. Decoupage is a great technique for adding a lot of paper layers to a box. It's basically using glue under and over your paper. So Mod Podge is a handy adhesive to use. Uh, fabric or cloth glue uh, will let you stick cloth onto a heavier box. Another approach is to make the box with intention for someone you care about. So my friend is sick, so I found this interesting old box and added fabric to the bottom. I'm going to give her this necklace. This necklace of mine and this tiny note um, that I hope that she will feel better. I'm letting her know that I'm with her in spirit. And then I'm going to send a symbol of my heart to hers. So let's work on making a safekeeping box. So I have my box. I've decided I wanted to start with the lid. So I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge all across this. Don't have to be particularly neat right at this moment because I'm just laying down a base layer. I want to work quickly so it doesn't start drying out without my paper that I'm going to add on. Again, you can do this with glue. Glue can be applied with a brush, uh, same as Mod Podge. So I'm just using a little plastic cup to hold it so that I have an easy container to manage. Okay. So now, it's handy if you lay out what you want to do first, and then by the time you're applying your glue, you know where you want to place things. So I have a couple of pieces here that I 
played with earlier, found out were the right size. on my safekeeping box, I'm thinking about how I feel. So as you work with your safekeeping box, you can just continue to work on that safe feeling. Feel like you have a space for all the things you carry in your heart. This one is a reminder to go on a journey. This one might represent an image of the home I hope to have one day. If I can feel safe to dream and to hope, pieces I have created can hold those hopes and dreams for safekeeping. Helen Keller once said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Until next time.